Well, first of all, I'll say like uh, John Carroll's a very good team. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. W- without the snow, yeah, they might have still beat us. So yeah. it, like it's hard to say what would have happened without the snow. Yeah. Uh, but one, I, I, like I said before, I think you know there's always something that you have to overcome, okay. whether it be a ref that's terrible, just, just seems okay. to be not calling the right way. <laughs> Uh, weather conditions, field yeah. conditions, uh, you know, there's, there's stuff you got to overcome. So in regards to how to approach the game, I was trying to not freak out that that the snow was going to heavily alter our style of game. Right. Uh, uh, just be calm, learn to overcome it. It meant we had to adjust. So we did address it in terms of like, uh, we did play the ball forward a whole lot more than what we normally do. Yeah. Um, and but in the same regard, there were times where I feel like it, there were a couple passes from like Tim to Alex and the two center backs that like, yes, you have to do that because it was hard to get footing and take a big swing at the ball. Like to hit yeah. a long ball, you risk slipping and hitting it right to the forward right in front of you because your foot, your support foot was going to slip. But yeah. So you kind of needed to integrate our system into a, a longer, more direct system because you just needed to get further up the field to be yeah. able to hit a ball that was effective getting yeah. up forward. Yeah. Uh, so, but in the same regard, like I'm back there going like, don't slip, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, make the right decision here. Yeah. Like, um, so I felt like, you know, they, I felt like we struggled. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'll say that like I'm I'm proud of the team because the team didn't use it as an excuse. Yeah. yeah. Um we went after it. Uh we could have won. Uh, but I'd say they were the better team and obviously yeah, I mean they won and they're the better team on the day in the conditions yeah. that were given. And uh it, it, that was a, a tough out for us and yeah. we didn't we didn't overcome that game. But mm-hmm. uh um could we have been better? Yeah, we should have been better. I felt like at the beginning of the game, I thought we had three chances that could have changed the game for us. Uh, within the first minute, uh, I think Ian had a drop back from Aiden that he he missed heavily. Yeah, yeah. That he has more quality to put it, at least challenge the keeper on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then Ian filtered in Chari in a gap. Like, Right in front of the keeper, no center backs. I mean, the center back was too far out. Yeah. He recovered. The center back recovered well because Chari tried to take a big swing at it instead of hey, just toe poke it from there. Yeah. Uh, and then Aiden had a half chance, so I think yeah. we had two and a half good chances. I think I remember the second one you mentioned where he could have just toe poked it. Yeah. And 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 I thought, oh my gosh, that goal goes in. It's a different game. It becomes a different game at that point. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I, I felt like there were barrages there without Xander there. It could have been mm-hmm. ugly the other way. You know, I think I think they accumulated like five shots within 10 seconds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the majority of it was our guys watching Xander close down the ball and take it off his gut, take yeah. it off his chest, yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, so... Who knows? But yeah, I, I, you know, you come away sometimes going, well, if we had played on a on a just a clear turf field, turf field. What, what could we have done? Yeah, right? Yeah, Not, yeah. oh, we definitely would have won that because yeah. I, I don't necessarily believe that. Like yeah. uh, they they offered challenges to us that were same that same that what F and M does. Yeah. Uh, that 